Hey, this is Angela Murata at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Well, unfortunately, here we are on, let's see, it's Wednesday, October 16th, and we are more than two weeks into not being able to sync and back up on Page Set Central on the iOS version of the app. I'll document what's happening. You tap the sync icon. Tap to sync, and it'll give an error message that it times out. So you get that. And then also I've been unable to um, back up my user area. I'll go over to the settings and show you what happens. All right, so I went into edit mode, and I tapped on the user tab tapped on the name of my user and it took me to this scrollable list where I have lots and lots of different users stored. I scroll down to the one that I'm on. I'm going to tap the save button back up to my Toby Dynavox next and it gets to 50% and then it times out and you'll get an error message. So I'll document what it's doing on that. And there we go. All right, so first up, I wanna show you a workaround, at least to be able to safeguard. It makes me nervous in this app that we have no way to back anything up that we've edited. So until they've, whenever they finally get this fixed, go to your user area, tap that save thing again, the little icon, and instead of backing up to my Toby Dynavox, head over to back up to a local file. And I've backed it up before, so I'm gonna add a date. I'm gonna change the date on that. And so at least I have a way then, if I needed to restore this, I have this backed up on my Apple files. From the Apple files, I could then also save that back up out to OneDrive or anywhere else. Um, but see how it's seamlessly going across here. You can also do the same thing with just a page set. So that backed up my whole user area, including all page sets. If you just wanna back up just the page set, tap on the page set tab and see, I have several in here, but if you just wanna back up one, you're going to do that, and same thing, save a copy to a local file. I would date it so you know when it's from. Okay, doesn't like those, so like that. Next. And so now that's as easy as that. So at least I encourage folks to at least back up your stuff somewhere outside of the iPad in case the app glitches. All right, so in order to find what you save to your Apple Files, go over to the Apple Files app and go to On My iPad, TD Snap, and User Backups and then tap select. And I'm gonna send this one over to my OneDrive. Files, and I had already created some organization here in mine. So I have a folder there for TV Snap, upload here, and it'll take a bit for that to upload because I have quite a bit in that particular file. But as you can tell, the file size is well beneath the one gigabyte limit for syncing um, on 
my Toby Dynabox. So that's not the issue. It's not my file size. It's there's a global, literally I've seen this discussed in multiple languages <laughs> across the various uh, user groups on Facebook and even over on Instagram. And anyway, it's not just a USA issue. It's probably worldwide. And it seems to have been sparked by the most recent update for TD Snap that happened back on September 30th. Um, occasionally people have issues with syncing and sharing um, before that, but the widespread issue happened with that app update. All right, so updating. I could also, if I wanted to, from my Apple files, if I wanted to back up that file to a USB thumb drive, I could do that. And depending on how much time you've spent uh, customizing something, for me, that's how much effort I put into backing it up. When I spent lots and lots of time creating stuff, I have it backed up in multiple ways. So almost done. Save to OneDrive. And so then if I had something else that I wanted to save, um, select. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to share that over to my OneDrive. Files. This one should go a lot quicker because um, there's not as much in it. TD Snap, upload. Yeah, that one's only 75.44 megabytes. So you can see how much more quickly that's going over. So there we go. All right, and also documenting that I checked the App Store first to make sure there weren't updates for either version of the app. If you're using the subscription, it's the one with the banner up in the top right, I'm sorry, top left corner. And you can see, no, the most recent update was from two weeks ago. Actually, it was on September 30th. And let's go back over to the legacy version, which used to be the full paid version available. And same thing, no update available. So I wanted to reassure folks, I checked that. I'm going to leave this um, video up even after they get it fixed. So in case it happens in the future, folks will still have a way to know how to back this up. 